Hey guys, my name is Matt, and in this video, we're going to be talking about our X-Class frame, what's going into the design, and how we're going to build it. So there's two approaches we could take on designing this frame, an H-shaped frame and an X-shaped frame. The H-style frame is going to be more unique, more stable, and we're going to build it by doing two one by one inch carbon fiber arms, one in the front, one in the back, connected by two carbon fiber plates. The X-style frame, on the other hand, will use less material and it's already a validated design. But hopefully in the future, we'll be able to begin to use more creative designs. The arms we're going to use are 1 by 1 inch balsa core, wrapped in carbon fiber and then covered in epoxy. We chose to do sandwich core because it's not only more durable than just plain carbon fiber, it's also less prone to bending and flexing during flight. This is the first sandwich core we ever did. As you can tell, we've improved our manufacturing process and made it a lot better. By compressing the plastic against the material, it creates a matte finish, which allows for better post-manufacturing work, such as sanding and glossing. So this is the CAD of our H-style frame. We chose to use 3D printed ABS motor mounts. That way we can attach those big X-Class motors to these one by one inch balsa arms. We also designed it to have a little point at the bottom, so that way we can keep the vehicle raised up off the ground. Everything's held together by 5 8 inch standoffs as well as 3M standoffs. The battery as well as the ESEs and flight controller are mounted right there in between the top and bottom plates. We put our carbon fiber through a stress test to see how strong it really was. Our blue carbon plate sheared at over 1,100 pounds of force. Our red carbon arms sheared at over 600 pounds of force. So one cool thing we learned about doing these strength tests is that at 600 pounds of force, the balsa core inside the carbon fiber arm broke before the carbon fiber itself. Now that we know this about our material, we're going to make constant improvements all next week during our construction process. So stay tuned guys for that next video.